Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Playing some more of The Division 2. I'm here today to show you guys how to get your hands on the Pestilus LMG exotic. Now, from what we know for sure, is the only way that you can get a hold of this thing is to find it in the dark zones. Now, we have a dark zone here, we have a dark zone to the south, and a dark zone on the east side. Now, we know for a fact that they drop from named enemies only. You can find them in the dark zones, um, and you're going to look for outcasts or true sons. Those are where they drop the most. I'm not 100% sure if they drop on hyena named or anything like that, but uh, or black tusk, but you know, you to check them out. They might. So, this is a very underwhelming exotic, and I'm actually very disappointed in it. So, the perks are... Plague of the Outcasts, Pestilence, and Outcast Resilience. Now, Plague of the Outcasts says after hitting the same enemy 20 times, that enemy is inflicted with the Plague of the Outcasts. Whenever an enemy with Plague of the Outcasts is killed, they leave a toxic cloud for 10 seconds that deals 200% weapon damage per second to anyone inside the inflicts uh, and inflicts them with Pestilence. So... Basically, you have to hope to God that you have them pinned in some way that they cannot escape this toxic gas. It does a lot of good damage, but it you have to hope that they stay there for that to happen, which doesn't seem like a reasonable thing. Now, Pestilence is a debuff that reduces healing received by 50% for 10 seconds. Whenever an enemy with Pestilence uh, would be downed, they are instead instantly killed. The debuff is removed if the enemy is repaired uh, to full armor. So you get that if you get that cloud to, to proc. Now, outcast resilience while holstered. Gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds whenever you are affected by blind, bleed, or burning. That one's okay. That one will help with your survivability. But otherwise, I mean, it's not even a good weapon to keep holstered. <laughs> for the most part. It's a waste of an exotic slot. You can only have one exotic weapon and one exotic gear piece on at the same time. So honestly, it's not worth it. Uh, and that's just my opinion. <clears throat> now, using this with uh, LMG bonus damages and things like that could potentially make it a little bit better. But its RPM is so low at only 550, which is very low for, enough for an LMG that it won't shred armor or tear through enemies as fast as you'd think it would. Which is honestly a, a big disappointment. Now, I'm hoping they boost this gun for sure to give it a little bit more playability. There's nothing here that could be used in any way to, to help benefit a team even, let alone your individual playthrough. So, yeah. <laughs> That is the that is the exotic <laughs> LMG pestilence. So for those who are just collectibles, go for it. You know it's it's good to hold on to, I guess. But other than that, it's got no real purpose, at least for now. So hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Love you all. Love all the support. Appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.